from the cute choreographed children performing on the grand gala stage to spectacular street shows. These are the joyful images China wants the world to see. Even its Lunar New Year celebrations are being censored. Only happy families and cheerful messages will make it past teams at the powerful Cyberspace Administration who are monitoring social media. Online cleanup campaigns are not unusual during the national holiday, but this year all the details were made public and the crackdown is clearly designed to prevent any dissent that might fuel further protests. There are still police cars stationed at the scene of the November demonstrations, which led to the collapse of the government's zero COVID policy. On the surface, life in the capital has returned to normal, but the authorities remain on edge. After the white paper movement, no matter how quiet on the surface is, in the coming months or even years, the China is already a different China. Xiao Chang runs the China Digital Times, which tracks Chinese censorship and online sentiment. He believes President Xi Jinping is facing a similar challenge from today's young generation. Because they have just witnessed how terrifying if you let one person to be concentrated so much power and the draconian zero COVID policy and its disaster brought on China is actually a most clear evidence that weakening people up. But digital surveillance has allowed the authorities to track down and arrest dozens of those who took part in last year's demonstrations. Sal Jasin is one of many who have disappeared into detention. She left this video for friends to release, knowing officers were closing in. In China, phones can leave an easy trail for the police to follow. Eric Liu describes them as the spy in everyone's pocket. He used to work on the censorship team of the country's top messaging platform. On Weibo, there were many Nazi, racist and sexist comments, but what we censors focused on was the so-called political topics. What I worked on was pretty bad, following instructions to deprive people of their rights. From the start of this year, the government imposed a new law requiring internet companies to proofread all posts on their site. They already have a legal obligation to hand over the details of individual users. Xiao Chang thinks we will see further controls imposed in the coming months. It's always about a restriction. It's about eliminate the ability of Chinese people's agency to speak, to act, to move, uh, in order to protect the regime itself, uh, what Xi Jinping called a regime security. At this annual time of reflection, the Chinese government is working harder than ever to make sure this doesn't become a new year of rebellion. Debbie Edward, News at 10. For her hours of hard work 